What's up guys, Chris again, and today we are going to be taking a look at how to disassemble your WM4 series bolt carrier group. <clears throat> so, to get things started, we have to get the bolt carrier group out first. This, by the way, is my WM4 GBBR, kitted with various things. I'll be doing a video on this later on. So, we'll need to pop this rear pin and mine is actually kind of stiff in here and I'll show you why in a second so make sure you don't punch that too hard because it's not going to go all the way through it's actually retained within the receiver so it's just gonna come out to this point and then you'll be able to pop open the two halves and this is a part of a I don't even know what it's called, but it's like an accu, yeah, ac accu wedge that uh, puts pressure on the two halves of the rifle to make it more solid. So make sure you push that pin back in to place, because otherwise, if you drop the gun or whatever, you risk breaking uh, that part. Next, you want to pull back <coughs> on the target. That's exactly what I mean. Pull back on the charging handle and the bolt is going to come out. Push the handle forward, close the two halves. Uh, yeah, right, I put the pin back in. That's stupid. Like so. And we'll put the actual rifle away for now. So here's the W bolt carrier group and we have a fake, um, what's it called, gas key on top. This is where on a real rifle gases from the barrel would be coming in and pushing the bolt back to recoil. So we're going to have to remove this screw first which is a big uh, flathead see if I have any of those in stock. Screw comes out and then you'll be able to lift the gas key assembly off. And this also has the roller wheel that the bolt uh, sort of rolls on in the receiver, upper receiver. So with that removed, you will be exposing a Phillips head screw, which is a nozzle alignment block. So we need to remove this screw. And then we can pull the alignment block out. At this point the nozzle is still not going to come out because we have a nozzle guide on the left hand side that needs to come out and we'll have to use uh, something small. To... This one is actually a little bit tricky To get out because it's kind of retained on both ends so to speak and this is also plastic so you want to make sure you don't break it comes out like so and now we still can't get the nozzle out because it's retained by a pin back here which is holding the screw in place. So you see on this side it's a rounded pin and on this side it's flat. So we want to punch on the rounded side so it will be right side to left side. Let's go ahead and get our roll of tape. Get a punch. Come 
couple of gentle taps <clears throat> and it should come out. So that's what the pin looks like. And now we'll be able to successfully remove the nozzle from the bolt carrier. And in the back, you see that we have the nozzle recoil spring and that is in turn attached to this pin right here, which is also holding the two halves together. So we'll need to push that out. We'll get the tiny punch tool. And again, you'll see <clears throat> one side is flat and flush and the other is a little bit indented and rounded. So we're, gonna, we're starting on that side and just get it started. Grab a pair of uh, pliers and pull the pin out. Spring will come out the back. So the uh, one of the, well, one of many reasons why you would do this is you might have a damaged spring, broken nozzle, or you want to install an end pass or something, which is actually what I have in here. So now we can go ahead and split the two halves and the end pass came out and we have the uh, rocket valve spring in there as well. So in my case, I'm thinking maybe to remove this and use the FG Airsoft discs instead. I haven't decided yet, but that's basically the disassembly of the WM4 nozzle uh, bolt carrier group. So let's go ahead and put it back together. Simply reverse the steps. We drop the spring in first into the <clears throat> nozzle front. If you don't have an impasse, it's going to look similar to this, but it's going to be plastic. So you want to drop it is in. Whoa, Jesus! <laughs> drop it in this direction with the flat face up. Make sure it goes in. Use a punch to make sure that it's springing. Now put the two halves back together and you can see here that <coughs> we have a alignment cut that helps us with where we need to go. Now get the pin started. Uh, let's see, I want to make sure I do that from the right way. Um, just get it sort of in there and again what you can do hook the spring on here and you'll see that the end sticking out here the loop is just supposed to clear the front so um, take a punch hook the outer loop slip the spring into place and push the pin in and hope for the best and that didn't work out, so we're going to have to redo it. And that time I got it, so it's in place. Just make sure the pin goes all the way in that it's not sticking out on either side. That's going to cause problems. So next up, we're going to put the nozzle into the bolt carrier and um, this spring loop will sort of self align with the pin hole. So you just slide it in, go all the way back to, uh, I think, yeah, you can see the loop coming in the back. Let's see. You see there? Right there is the loop, so we know we're close. Get the pin started. And again, hope for the best. And I managed to hook it on the first attempt, so. <clears throat> 
want to make sure you get this pin all the way in flush with the bolt carrier. Yeah, still sticking out a little bit. Let's give it another tap. There we go. That's good. So what we have left now is the left side nozzle alignment block. You can see it's the nozzle is turning pretty freely in here. So you want to get this sort of lined up to where it needs to be, which would be right about there. Drop the alignment block in like this. Let's see if I can actually get it in there. And you got that in place. Next is the top alignment block. It goes on like this. Put the screw back in from the top. And then we're going to finish off with installing the fake gas key and roller wheel assembly. And there you have it, that's the WM4 bolt carrier group back into completeness. And just make sure that it springs back and forth nicely, which it does. And of course, the final step is putting it back into the actual rifle. So we open up the two halves, pull back the charging handle a little bit. Put the bolt in and slam it home. <clears throat> Close the two halves and push the pin back. And there you have it. That's the WM4 bolt carrier group disassembly and reassembly for whatever reason you might need yeah that's it for uh, this video i've been doing a, a pretty long session here of recording so i'm going to go take a break and i'll see you guys in the next video